go to Dippendoo for school, we're happy that we do. Our school is at the corner of Dinkzuber and Dinkzot. It looks like any other school, but we suspect it's not. I think we're learning lots of things not taught at other schools. Our teachers are remarkable. They make up their own rules. <laughs> Ms. Bobble teaches listening, Ms. Wobble teaches smelling, Ms. Fribble teaches laughing, and Ms. Quibble teaches yelling. <laughs> Ms. Twinney teaches tying knots and neckerchiefs and noodles and how to tell chrysanthemums from miniature poodles. Ms. Vining teaches all the ways a pigeon may be peppered and how to put a saddle on a lizard or a leopard. <laughs> My teacher is Ms. Bonkers. She's as bouncy as a flea. I'm not certain what she teaches, but I'm glad she teaches me. Look, look, she chirps. I'll show you how to tell a cactus from a cow. And then I shall instruct you why a hippo cannot hope to fly. She even teaches frogs to dance and pigs to put on underpants. One day she taught a duck to sing. Miss Bonker teaches everything. Of all the teachers in our school, I like Miss Bonker's best. Our teachers are all different, but she's differenter than the rest. We also have a principal. His name is Mr. Lowe. He is the very saddest man that any of us know. Hopefully that's not any of us in this room. <laughs> he mumbles, are they learning this and that and such and such? His face is wrinkled as a prune from worrying so much. He breaks a lot of pencil points from pushing down too hard, and many dogs start barking as he mopes around the yard. We think he wears false eyebrows. In fact, we're sure it's so. We've heard he takes them off at night. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> I won't make a joke there, we'll keep going down. <laughs> but we know he likes Miss Bonkers. He treats her like a queen. He's always there to watch her when she's on her trampoline. <laughs> Questionable. <laughs> there are many other people who make Dip and Duper run. They are utterly amazing. I love every single one. Our nurse, Miss Clock, knows what to do when we got sniffles or the flu. One day I had a splinter, so she banished me from head to toe. Miss Plunger, our custodian, has fashioned a machine, a super, super, blooper do. It keeps the whole school clean. Our music teacher, Miss Fox, makes bagpipes out of straws and socks. Our art instructor, Mr. Bees, paints pictures hanging by his knees. In science class with Mr. Cat, we learn to build robotic rats. In gym, we watch as Mr. Bear hoists elephants into the air. Miss Moon is our librarian. She hides behind the shelves and often cries out louder when we're reading to ourselves. We have three cooks, all named McMunch, who merrily prepare our lunch. They make us hot dogs, beans, and fries, plus things we do not recognize. As they cook, they sing their songs, not too short and not too long. Roast and toast and slice and dice, cooking lunch is oh so nice. We were eating their concoctions, telling jokes and making noise, when Mr. Lowe appeared and howled, attention boys and girls. We began to fuss and fidget, scratch and mutter, sneeze and cough. He shook his head so hard, we thought his eyebrows would come off. He wrung his hands, he cleared his throat, he shed a single tear, then sobbed, I have something to announce, and that is why I'm here. All schools for miles and miles around must take a special test to see who's learning such and such, to see which school is the best. If our small school does not do well, then it will be torn down, and you will all have to go to school in dreary Flobber Town. Not Flobber Town, we shouted, and we shuddered at the name, for everyone in Flobber Town does everything the same. It's miserable in Flobber Town, 
They dress in just one style. They sing one song, they never dance, they march in single file. They do not have a playground, they do not have a park. Their lunches have no taste at all, they're dark. Their dogs are scared to bark. <laughs> Miss Bonkers rolled, don't fret, she said. You've learned the things you need to pass that test and many more. I'm certain you'll succeed. We taught you that the earth is round, that red and white make pink. And something else that matters more, we taught you how to think. I hope you're right, sighed Mr. Lowe. He shed another tear. The test is in 10 minutes, and you're taking it right here. <laughs> We sat in shock and disbelief. Oh no, we moaned, oh no. We were even more unhappy than unhappy Mr. Lowe. And then the test was handed out. Yahoo, we yelled, Yahoo! For it was filled with all the things that we all knew we knew. There were questions about noodles, about poodles, frogs, and yelling, about listening and laughing, and chrysanthemums and smelling. There were questions about other things we'd never seen or heard, and yet we somehow answered them, enjoying every word. One week later, after recess, Mr. Lowe meandered in. We'd never seen him smile before, but now we, he wore a grin. He soon began to giggle, then his giggle grew by half, and then it really happened, Mr. Lowe began to laugh. You saved our school, you saved our school, he jubilantly roared. We got the highest, the very highest score, he wrote it on the board. Miss Bonkers did some cartwheels till her face turned cherry red. She bounded up to Mr. Lowe and kissed him on the head. Hooray, hooray, she shouted. I'm so proud I cannot speak. So she did another cartwheel and she pecked him on the cheek. Don't do that. Pop, <laughs> Mr. Lowe, you all deserve a bow. I thus declare a holiday. It starts exactly now. Because you've done so splendidly in every sort of way, this day forever shall be known as Dippin' Do for Day. And furthermore, I promise I won't ever wear a frown, for now I know we'll never go to dreary slaughter town. Then we had a celebration that was pizza, milk, and cake. Like everyone, I ate too much and got a belly ache. We laughed and whooped and hollered the entire school day long. Then we all sang triumphantly the Dippin' Do for song. We love you, Dippin' Duper School. We definitely do. There surely is no other school that's anything like you. You're gribblish, you're groveless. Each day we love you more. You are the school we treasure and unceasingly adore. Oh, finest school in Dinkerville, the only one as well. We love you, Dippin' Duper School, much more than we can tell. You are so Dippin' Duperous, it gives us joy to say, three cheers for Dippin' Duper School. Hooray, hooray, hooray. <laughs>